So, today's class is a little bit of stretching and opening for the shoulders and the chest, a bit of breathing and a bit of chilling. So find yourself a really comfortable seat. Um, if you are tight in your hips like me, then feel free to sit on a little block or a cushion just underneath the sit bones. Um, or just find a seat that you can, can sit in very comfortably. You can be on your knees or with your legs out in front of you if you find that more comfortable, um, whichever feels best for you today. And we'll start just by closing our eyes and gently taking our awareness to the breath. Just noticing your unique breath and what it's up to today. Notice the length of the inhale and the length of the exhale. Notice the smoothness of the breath. Notice where the breath moves your body. And notice if there's any restrictions in your breath today, any tight spots. Not trying to change things at all, just noticing where you're at today. Then have a check in with how your body feels. Noticing any tight spots or any areas of tension. Notice how you're feeling today. Again, just making a mental note. Then keeping the eyes closed, take one hand to your chest and one hand to your belly. And just <clears throat> try and deepen the breath slightly. Trying to breathe to expand the belly, the ribs and the chest. And then on the exhale, let everything soften. Inhaling, expanding into the belly, the ribs, the chest. And then exhale, let everything soften. Inhale, really expand, connect with that breath, feel where it moves your body. And then exhale, relax and soften. And taking your hands either into your lap or onto your knees, and they could be palm up or palm down, whichever feels more grounding for you today. We'll do three deep breaths in through the nose and then sigh out through the mouth. So nice big inhale and then sigh out. Really allowing your body to relax. Nice big inhale. do some block breaths. So starting <clears throat> to the count of four. So we'll inhale for four, we'll hold the breath for four, we'll exhale for four, and then we'll hold the breath outside of the body for four. Keeping your hands in their comfortable position. So in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, 
four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, hold, out, hold, in, hold, out, hold, in, hold, out, hold, in, hold, out, hold. Now either continue with your hands in their comfortable place, or if you'd like to start getting a bit of movement through the shoulders, we'll bring the arms into the movement as well. So <clears throat> continuing with the count of four, we inhale the arms up above the head for the count of four, hold at the top, for the count of four. Exhale the arms out to the sides and then hold the breath outside the body for four. So in, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. In, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, Hold, out, hold, 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 excellent. 
Now, just allowing the breath to come back to normal and focusing on getting some movement through the shoulders and chest now. So start just by hunching the shoulders up to your ears and then rolling the shoulder blades down your back. So hunching them up to your ears and rolling them down the back. One more, hunching them up to the ears, rolling them down the back. Then squeeze the shoulder blades behind you and then roll them forwards. Squeeze them behind you and roll them forwards. Squeeze them behind and roll them forwards. Excellent. Then taking the arm straight out from our shoulders, cross the left arm across the body and then hug it with the other hand. Really trying to relax the left shoulder down. So we're pulling in in the mid forearm, so we're not over our elbow, we're in the middle of our forearm, and hug that arm into the chest. <clears throat> Everybody will find the stretch hits them in a slightly different place. But just have a few deep breaths, trying to relax into the stretch. Keeping the shoulders relaxed. One more deep breath. Excellent, then open the arms back out to the sides, cross the right arm across the body and then hug it in with the left. Again, with the forearms crossed, <laughs> try and keep the right shoulder relaxed. Hug that arm into the body. And then take some deep breaths, really sending the breath into any tight spots, trying to relax the muscles with each breath. Good, one more breath. Then let that one go. Maybe have a couple of rolls through the shoulders if that feels good. A bit of a wiggle wherever you want a wiggle. <laughs> and then take the right arm up above the head and bend at the elbow so your hand comes down towards your back. Then take the other hand up and place it on the elbow. What we're trying to do here is trying to keep our head as upright as possible. Get a stretch into that right shoulder. So you can apply some pressure with this hand, you can reposition the arm, and we're trying to walk those fingers down the back. If it's in your practice and you want to take the top arm around and into a bind so that you're bringing your fingers together behind your shoulders, you can. Otherwise, just stay here. Just a little bit of pressure on the elbow. Good, a couple more deep breaths here. Then release that off and move to the other side. So bending the other hand down the back. Again, using the, the hand on the elbow. Ginny, I don't think you should do it that side. <laughs> Have a little rest. <laughs> Just focus on the breath. And again, if you want to take the bind, you can take the bind. One more deep breath. Then let that go and bring the hands back to your knees. So I'm going to turn sideways here just to show you this next one. So <clears throat> moving with the breath, as we inhale, we're going to stretch the chest forward and arch the back as much as we can. And then as we exhale, we're gonna round through the tops of the shoulders, drop the head and pull the tummy in. So seated cat cow. Just need to move my block because it's not very comfortable that way around. <laughs> okay, so a nice big inhale, stretch the chest forward, open the shoulders. And then exhale, round through those shoulders, pull the tummy muscles in and dip the head. 
Inhale to come forward, stretching that chest forward, squeezing the shoulder blades behind your back. Then exhale, round through the upper back, pull the tummy in, drop the head. Inhale as we come forward, stretching the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades. Then exhale, round through that upper back, pull the tummy in and drop the head. Inhaling as we come forwards. And then exhaling as we come back. Inhaling as we come forwards. And then exhaling as we come back. Come back to centre and I'll just show you the next one. We'll do the same movement, but this time with our arms involved as well, just to really open up through the chest and open up through the upper back. So as we inhale, we bring our hands behind us and we stretch them away from us as we stretch our chest forwards. So you should feel an opening through the upper chest. Then as we exhale, we release those arms and we push the palms away from us as we hug the shoulders around. So inhale as you come forward, stretch the hands behind you, open the chest, and then exhale, press the palms away from you and round through the shoulders. So inhale, come forward, stretch the arms behind you, open the chest, and then exhale as we come forward, push the palms away. Inhale, stretch the chest, stretch the hands behind us. And then as you exhale, curve through the spine, press the palms away, drop the head. One more each direction. So inhale, take the hands behind, open the chest, stretch the chest forwards, really open the shoulders towards your back. And then exhale, take it the other way. Press the palms away from you, really rounding through the shoulders. And then come back to neutral. Excellent. <clears throat> so another one moving with the breath, this time into a twist. So this time we inhale the arms up above our heads. Then as we exhale, we go round towards the left, using the right hand and the right knee for a little bit of leverage to come into a seated twist. Then inhale the arms up through center and exhale to the other side so then the left hand is pressing on the left knee to push you away. Inhale up through center, exhale, twist one way. Inhale up through center, exhale, twist the other way. Inhale up through center, exhale, twist left. Inhale up through center, exhale, twist right. We'll do three more to each side. Inhale up through center, exhale, twist. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Two more each side. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Inhale up, exhale, twist, and stay this side for two deep breaths. Really trying to lengthen through the spine and twist on the exhale. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, twist. Then inhale up through center, exhale, twist to the other side, and have two deep breaths this side. Inhale, really lengthen the spine, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, back up to center, and then exhale the hands back down onto the knees. Okay, last uh, breath and movement exercise is working into the side body. So this time we inhale up, if you can. Um, Ginny, for you, drop the opposite arm down just to give yourself a bit of relief. And then we go over to the side. So you can either do this with both hands to really use the core muscles a bit more strongly, or you can drop the bottom arm down towards the mat. It's entirely up to you. Do 
take three, another three deep breaths here in whichever option you've chosen. Really think about grounding down through the sit bones, opening the armpit up towards the ceiling. Excellent. If you have both hands up, drop one arm down and then come back up through centre. And then we'll move over to the other side. So Ginny, do what you can and see how you feel. <clears throat> okay, so inhaling the arms up above our heads if we're going to do both. Going over to the other side. If you need to, you can drop your hand down to the mat. That's absolutely fine. Keep that top arm open towards the ceiling so the armpit is open. Really use the core muscles whilst you're in this pose. Ground down through the sit bones. Three deep breaths here. Excellent. If you have both hands up, drop the bottom arm down towards the mat and then use the core muscles to come back up through centre. Good work. So have a little wiggle and a jiggle wherever you want to and then find a comfortable place for our final meditation. So today you can either do it sitting up if you want to, or if you want to get super comfortable and super relaxed, then feel free to lay down in Savasana. If you're laying in Savasana, let the legs come out nice and long and let the feet fall open. Tuck the shoulder blades underneath the torso and make sure the lower back is completely comfortable. Any pain in the lower back at all, bring the feet to the mat and let the knees roll in towards one another. And gently close your eyes if you haven't already. And take your focus back to your breath. Noticing how your breath feels. Noticing the length and depth of the inhale and the length and depth of the exhale. Notice the smoothness of the breath. Notice where the breath moves your body. Notice how the breath feels in your body. Notice the temperature on the inhale versus the exhale. Notice anywhere where you may feel any constriction or tension in the breath. and make a mental note as to whether that's changed since the start of class. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Then make your next breath the deepest, longest, smoothest breath you've taken all day. Take another breath like this, the deepest breath you can manage. And as you exhale, feel a wave of relaxation throughout your entire body. Allow your awareness to settle on the natural rhythm of your unique breath. Watching the breath flowing in and out of the body. Rising and expanding with the inhale. Lowering and softening on the exhale. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest, 
expanding. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly, softening. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest, expanding. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly, softening. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest, expanding. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly, softening. Feel your breath slowing down, becoming deeper. Feel your heart rate slowing down, becoming calmer. Feel a sense of peace in every single cell. Inhaling, belly, ribs, chest, expanding. Exhaling, chest, ribs, belly, soften. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest, expanding. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly, softening. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest, expanding. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly, softening. Feel your breath in your body, deep and slow and even. Feel your heart rate slow, calm, relaxed. Feel a sense of serenity in every single cell. Your whole body completely relaxed. Your breath completely relaxed. We'll do three deep breaths together, inhaling deeply and sighing the breath out through the mouth, inhaling, start to think about moving. Maybe just rolling the head from side to side. Maybe wiggling the fingers and toes. 
or circling through the wrists or ankles. Move the body in whatever way it wants to move. If you feel like stretching, then stretch. If you want to hug the knees in, then hug the knees in. Do whatever your body craves. And then when you are ready, roll over onto your side and come up to seated. Thank you so much for making the effort to come and practice with me this lunchtime. I hope you're feeling somewhat more calm and relaxed than you were when we started. And I hope to see you again on your mat soon.